Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for hitting that play button. We're here at Corvette World and I got something special to show you guys. Man, this is gonna be a good one. My boy Rob hit me up. He sent me a text and said, man, I've got a car that you need to see. So I said, let me get down to Corvette World so I can show you guys what an amazing car this really is. So let's get into it. All right, guys, check it out. Look at this in all its glory. We have a Torch Red C8 E-Ray. Man, this car looks gorgeous. So I had to get down here, guys, so I could film this video for you so you can see how amazing and how gorgeous this car really, really is. OMG. I love it. Love it, guys. Mm -hmm -hmm. This car looks amazing. Obviously, guys, this is an E-Ray, so it has the electric motors up front, 165 horsepower front. You have the LT2 in the rear, making 495 horsepower. So with the electric motor up front and the gas engine in the rear, you're talking about a combined horsepower of about 655 horsepower. OMG. This is the first, guys, first all-wheel drive Corvette. Basically, all-weather Corvette. Oh my God. This is amazing. So let's start up front real quick. You have the carbon flash cross flags. It has the body color, body color, front splitter guys. It has the polished wheel. It has a carbon ceramic brake package. It has a red caliper. And remember guys, the E-Rays come stock with the carbon ceramic brake package. It has a carbon flash metallic side skirt. It's body colored right here on the mirror caps body color right here on the inlet and as you can see here guys you have your e-ray badge walk around to the back it has a body color rear spoiler and it has the carbon flash e-ray badge carbon flash corvette script it has a chrome exiting exhaust wow amazing let's take a look at the engine guys Oh, this looks amazing. Wow, this is gorgeous, I love it. So it has the black engine cover. It has the edge red valve covers. Nice, nice. Close this up. Got your soft close function. Let's open it up here. This particular E-Ray is equipped with the 3LZ trim package, GT2 seats, black seat belts. You have the extra stitching right here in the door panel because it's a 3LZ. You have the carbon fiber on the top of the steering wheel here, carbon fiber on the bottom of the steering wheel, and you have your E-Ray badge on the bottom of the steering wheel. Gorgeous, 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 guys. Amazing. You have some extra buttons here for your battery and also for your start stop function. Wow, what a gorgeous car, guys. Amazing. Corvette C8 E-Ray. Remember guys, all wheel drives, zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. 2.5 seconds. The C8 Z06 is 2.6 seconds. And then the regular Stingray it's 2.9 seconds, zero to 60. This car is freaking amazing. I can't say it enough. I really, really love this car. Let's open up the front real quick so you guys can see the front. So you're losing any front space with the added electric motors. Check it out. Nope. 
it looks exactly the same or pretty similar to the C8 Stingray and the Z06. Exactly the same, guys. And then again, you have your soft close here, which I believe was introduced first on the 2024 C8. Soft close, soft close, gorgeous. Love it, guys. All right, getting into the E-Ray, guys. The first thing I'm greeted with is you have stealth mode on the far left, you have normal mode in the middle, and on the far right, you have shuttle mode. So stealth mode is where you can actually drive the car in with the electric motors only. Normal mode in the middle is so that you can actually start the engine normally with the actual engine starting up in the rear. And then you have shuttle mode on the far right. The difference between stealth and shuttle mode is that if you drive in stealth mode initially, once you get up to a certain speed, the actual engine will kick on in the rear and you start driving. If you start off in shuttle mode, the engine will not kick on. The shuttle mode is only if you're moving the car in a huge garage or a showroom area, uh, just really quick to get to another car that's maybe in your garage. That's what shuttle mode is for. So guys, if we go over to the infotainment system, let's see what's different between the C8 and the Z06. So you got audio, you got maps, phone, you got E-Ray performance, you have Google Assistant, you have Play Store, you have cameras, Wi-Fi hotspot, you have PDR, you have settings, climate, you have Alexa, My Chevrolet, you have podcasts, and then you have news. So let's go back to that E-Ray performance. So check this out, guys. So you have a gauges. You have a gauge for your electric output of your front motor, and you have a gauge for your engine output in the rear. That's pretty cool. So that's your gauges tab. Let's click the dyno tab. Wow. It has like a little dyno graph. That is pretty cool. Let's check out the data graph. Nice, so the data graph shows 1.5 kilowatts, charge gain, charge use 3.3 kilowatts, and we have fuel save in gallons. Pretty cool, guys. Now let's check out the mode selector, guys. If you toggle your mode selector, just like the C8 and the Z06, you have weather mode. You have my mode, pretty cool, pretty cool. You have sport mode. I like sport. You have track mode. Look at track. I like track. So yeah, and you can adjust every aspect, especially the drivetrain. And also, if you're in uh, my mode, you can you can adjust some of the settings as well. And also, when you swap between modes, guys, it actually changes your dash as well. So check that out. So touring. Look at that. My mode. Check it out. See, it changes everything. Tour mode, look at that. Pretty cool, guys, pretty cool. And then I like here, if you look at your gauges, over here in the top left, it says electric power, and it shows it in horsepower. So yeah, real quick, I just wanted to show you guys some of the differences between the Corvette C8 Stingray and the Corvette C8 Z06 with the e wrench. Some pretty cool functions that you have on your dash and some pretty cool new graphics when you're using your mode selector. Nice. Let's take a look at the window sticker here. Screenshot it. So check this out. Original MSRP is 120,000. 2024 Corvette E-Ray Coupe 3LZ. And let's take a look at the price up here. This is a 2024. It has 128 miles on it and they want 121,995 for it. Nice. Nice guys. Wow. Wow. That is freaking sick. So if you guys are in the market for a C8 E-Ray, contact Corvette World. I'll leave a link to Corvette World's website in the description below. So if you guys are interested in just E-Ray, just give them a call. All right, guys, that is it for the video. I had to bring that E-Ray to you guys. I wanted you guys to see how gorgeous that car was. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you can be notified when I upload new content. I'll see you guys in the next upload. Stay safe out there. Peace. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs>